Good afternoon, everybody. No, good morning, everybody. Let put something on here. Uprooted artist with some rants, some poetry. We talk about real life matters. We rant about some things that don't matter. The artist, uprooted artist, creativity has no limitation. We're grounded, we're rooted, uprooted, uplifted. Uprooted artists podcast. We talk to other artists and other people. Let's bring them all in. Let's hear and share. We laugh, we cry, we sing and we dance. Okay, so let's talk, let's begin. So it's February, it's halfway through February, we're right at the end and I've just been thinking about a lot of things in my life and trying to figure out what comes next, what is next. We're in the year 2023 and sometimes there's a lot that is going on all at the same time. There's a lot that's happening. There's a lot that you want to achieve and for some reason it's hard to achieve what that is that you're trying to achieve and it all depends on who you are now. The type of person that I am, I'm a very excited person. I get very excited, but I find it very hard to focus on something and make something happen. Make what I would like to happen, happen. So... Being successful in something and making the most of it, whether it's a project, a business idea, there's always some kind of excuse that I end up with. Could be not having money, not having the right resources, not having the right people around me, not believing in myself. So like I say, there's a lot of things, a lot of, let's say, pointers that you know, create your limitations, but it's okay because as long as I am aware of that, I know about it, I hope that I can get through it somehow, I don't know what happened there, I hope I can get through it somehow and finally find something that I will stick with and you know maybe I can help other people find themselves but I really need to focus on myself at the moment so working on myself trying to create myself I was creating candles and I realised that I do love candles but it's not something that I want to do full time if I'm very honest with myself it's not something I want to do I like being around people I like seeing people I like spending time with people and not being stuck in the house um and I do need to make money. It's not a it's not 
an option it is something that i need to do make money make a living because that's what we do as adults we make money we make a living and i'm just thinking okay so who am i like literally who am i without trying to impress other people where do i stand without trying to impress other people okay so who am i who am i to other people maybe i need to ask that question and see what they come up with and it's not that i'm asking them to acknowledge me or approve of me it's just ugh, tired coming from a realistic a realistic point of view which is very important for us to achieve or us to understand on a realistic level I've tried so much things but not having the money not having the right people backing me it's okay someone saying oh that's a nice thing I'll buy that from you and two two they don't buy it off you they don't you don't have no custom if you don't have the money you know some people say oh if you have money or and the right people and the right mindset of course you can create and make and become who you want to be that is if you're selling a product or a service because let's face it you do need the people to buy the product it is that person or a group of people that you are trying to attract with your product so yeah it's like holding yourself accountable when you hold yourself accountable and you do the work every single day and you push against all the barriers and limitations that you have for yourself, you know, hopefully, you will you will see the results, you know. So at this moment in time, I'm really looking at myself in the mirror and saying, okay, calm down, relax, chill for a bit, have a break. It's okay if you have a break. It's okay if you need to study yourself, even for a month, study yourself. Study who you are, actually. Study what you want to do, actually. What do you like? Who do you want to be? Because at the end of the day, it's okay being humble and invisible. But it's not okay being humble and invisible if that's not who you truly are. Some people will hide themselves behind a curtain because it's easier and they don't want to feel guilty for seeing in the limelight of someone else. But you know what I say? Whatever. Do you. Be in the front line. Put yourself in front of all these people. Dress up and show up. You're not competing with anybody. You're not competing as long as you know what you like and who you are. Ask people maybe like how they see you, but don't ask them what they think. It's not always, you know. Or what do you think type? It may be. What is it? What is the truth? You know? What is the truth? Yes, I'm scrolling on my phone. But I'm on here as well. 
Um, but yeah, we're just having it around from here and here. So I don't know, like, who are you? Who am I? So who I think I am right now at this moment in time, at this very second, in the present moment, I'm very curious. Um, I'm a bit frustrated. I'm ready to get going. I am more aware of myself than I felt a couple of months ago or the other day. Maybe I wasn't feeling that happy, but I realised that happiness is quite, you know, quite ordinary, it's like, why just be that okay with this happiness thing when we can be perfectly okay with reality? What is a happiness? What is reality? Reality, reality feels better. We'll always feel better than this false reality, especially when we're looking on the internet and it's so easy to want to slip into this unrealistic lifestyle where everything looks so perfect. Everything is edited. Everything is shown how it's not really it. You know? Some things are not exactly how it is. Some pictures are not real. Some people's relationships are not real. Some cars are hired. Some houses are hired or rented. You know? People that have a business on the internet, not all people, but some people, the idea of being or showing a certain lifestyle is only what you can see. It's just what you can see. It's not the fact. It's not a fact. It's just an art of showing. And sometimes your emotions could be really high where you're seeing something, but it's not actually what it is. But because you are frustrated in your life, everything around you is either a goal, a need, a want, a desperate idea of. But it's not literally, it's not the reality of. Now I understand, I do understand that we all want to at least create a life for ourselves where we are financially okay, financially stable. Now I've always told myself I would love to create a life for myself where I'm playing, I'm having fun, I'm around people but guess what, at the same time I'm having fun. I'm making money. I've done the hard work at home on my laptop or something like that. And I physically meet people. I meet real people. It's not all about sitting on my phone all the time, sitting at home. 
I love making candles. I love the smell of candles. I love. I'm stuck. I love the way the candles smell. I love the way it melts. But I need something that's more that like, hands on, more, more creative, more there in your face. I really need and it will happen it will happen it will only happen if I have an understanding of who I am and what I actually want where I actually want to go and my limitations you know what are my limitations when my son was five what is the limitation where does it go where does it belong is it with me is it with other people I don't know where well, I'm gonna go now and we'll talk soon good evening good evening everybody mm. welcome to uprooted artist podcast hosted on anchor the date is the 20th